Hello, Melissa Darmwan for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Gallon Lithium is Managing Director Juan Pablo Vargas de la Vega. JP, nice to meet you and welcome back to the network. Well, thanks very much, Mel, and it's good to be in Sydney. It's good to have you. Gallon Lithium's key project is the Hombre Moeta West Lithium Brine project in Argentina. How's that going? Everything's going very well. Uh, last year in December, we released our uh, scoping study PEA. The study was performed by Worley, and we used the office in Chile. And the, the conclusions of the study is that we have a, a tier one long life project that can operate potentially for 40 years, producing 20,000 tons of lithium carbonate a year. And um, we also have a, a low operating cost in terms of uh, comparing ourselves to the rest of the industry. We feed in the first quartile of the industry, and our capital expenditure is estimated to be around $340 million, roughly, plus contingency. Um, the MPV study uh, of, the, of our uh, project has indicated that we could um, have up to a billion dollars of value with our four years payback. Uh, I'd like to remind people that this was done with a very conservative numbers done by Roskill. And so we have a strong project that we're going to be optimizing. It's looking fantastically uh, as a first pass. So what's next in regards to the project? We have done a um, capital raise in uh, early this year. And we have um, done a significant work at yeah, the lab test. We have um, looking at l lithium chloride uh, solutions. We uh, continue to test um, alternatives internally uh, that we're going to be implementing into the next stage of studies. Uh, and the next 12, 15 months are critical uh, to get the right answer commercially for what we're doing. So this is an um, uh, exciting place to be because um, as we mentioned, we, our results are very compelling, very strong, but we believe that there are significant areas that we can improve and, uh, and add more value to where we want to go. So um, in a nutshell, um, just watch this space. We, we have something really good coming up for us. And JP, what are the green credentials for the project? The evaporation process has got the lowest emission of CO2 of the industry. And why is that? Um, we use evaporation and the solar radiation to our advantage. So we're not burning anything. The sun is doing the work for us. Now to finances and your share register. You completed a capital raising late January at 50 cents per share, raising $10 million. How far will that take you given the busy progress ahead? We have a, a total cash position today after the race of close to $15 million. We also have approximately $5 million worth of options and all of those options are in the money, meaning that can be converted. Our estimate for our all the way, all the study, all the way to feasibility is um, approximately today, We our best guess is around $9 million. So it will take us way beyond the next 12 months or 15 months that we expect to take in terms of our, our studies and activities. And uh, it still will leave us in a strong position going forward after the study. And can you provide a comment on the share register? Our uh, share register is uh, comprised um, today by the largest shareholder, which is Ganfeng. And the second uh, and the largest fund that we have is Thematica. Thematica is a fund from Luxembourg and they own around 5.4% of the company. And they've been really aggressive at uh, coming into Galan in the last six months. So it's, um, it's good to have a, a green energy fund behind us. Um, also, we have family offices and uh, superannuation from people. Uh, it's very strong Australian flavor, but uh, as time is passing, we're seeing that we're getting more interest from uh, Europe, especially, and a bit from the US. So it's, um, it's, it's uh, the it register is evolving and it's getting stronger. And how about yourself? Do you have skin in the game? Absolutely, yeah. I'm the second largest shareholder of Galan. So I'm fully motivated to get this to production. That's my motto. Last question. Is there anything else you would like to add? Absolutely. We have um, a project recently acquired in Western Australia, in uh, the Green Bushes, which is uh, three hours south of Perth. Um, the Green Bushes mine is the largest and highest grade lithium spodium mine in the world. And our project is only three kilometers south from the pit. So what keeps me awake at night is thinking, how am I going to explore this in order to have a discovery? Uh, while it's still early days, I think there's still a valid concept of our prospectivity. 
and uh, next week we're going to start doing some early early works and um, yeah, this is going to progress um, step by step and we're going to be updating the market in, in all our developments in both fronts in Argentina as well as in Australia. JP, thanks for your time. We look forward to hearing from you on your next update. Thank you Mel and look forward to be back in Sydney.